All right, welcome back. So this video is going to cover transparency. And the idea behind transparency is that it's basically like mixing. And uh, Joseph Albers calls it mixing in paper. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's more to it than that because because we're using paper, we're not necessarily limited to what's possible. I mean, we're limited by what could happen, but just because something, a solution we've come up with isn't possible doesn't make it wrong. So you can actually use your imagination and come up with some color combinations here. And I'll, hopefully I'll be able to show you a few as we go. But uh, where I want to start is by showing you the paper setup. So if you're working here and you're like, okay, so I want to mix these two colors together and I'm going to look at them like this. I'm like, well, that one's in between them and it's, it's in between in value. And um, yeah, unless they're touching and overlapping and there are context lines, you're not going to be able to see it clearly. So this is what I want you to do. This is the only way to do it. It can be longer. It can be shorter. Whatever you want, whatever you think looks better. But you have to have a context like this. If some of the papers you're using are cut up and they're smaller or whatever, you may have to cut some of these papers up in order to make this thing um, work. But so if you guys look at the sheet, the transparency exercises are broken up into groups by two things, intensity first and then value second. So what we mean by intensity is uh, the outside colors need to be the same intensity. And let's say this is the chromatic gray group, okay? So this is a chromatic gray blue, this is a chromatic gray yellow. Um, one is lighter, one is darker. The main thing is that these two are both chromatic grays and then we try and find a color for the inside that is going to work. Now the other intensity categories are fully saturated and muted color, which is just slightly brighter than this. The other way that we're going to be categorizing these is within each intensity group, you're going to have what's called a light transparency, a middle transparency, and a dark transparency. The definition of those have to do with, based on the inside color, which one of these two is winning the interaction. So a middle transparency is going to have a color in the middle that's like halfway between them in every way. What's going to happen when colors mix together is that the hues are going to mix together. The value is going to be in between the two somewhere. And the intensity is going to go down every time. That's just how it's going to be. So with this one, we're starting with a yellow. This one has, it's gone green because it's mixing with a blue. But the value between these guys, we could maybe argue a little bit, but we could say that it's a little closer to the lighter side. Maybe it's a little closer to the middle. I would call this one a light transparency with nothing else to compare it to. Um, and then kind of move on. But uh, that's how to think about the value situation. And I have a couple I, want to, I have one that I want to switch up to and, and go to that will take you through the different uh, ways to think about value. So we've got these two colors. And what happens if we mix purple and yellow? Uh, we get usually some kind of an awful brown, right? And this one's a little more orangey. And that's, that's probably actually close to what would happen were we to um, make paints and, and, and mix them together. Um, but I wanna, what I want to show you with this combination is the way that you can think your way through some of the different solutions. So 
starting with a, a dark color here and a light color here, we can do almost anything in the middle depending on whether or not we want a light transparency middle or dark. So uh, this one would probably be a middle and that would be okay, but it's, it's a little bit boring. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And let's see, if I go with this, this is probably a little bit more accurate, but again, that's, that's a little bit more of a middle transparency. Now it's a light transparency. This one has a little bit of yellow in it, but mostly it's extremely dull. It's darker than this one, way lighter than that one. The value and the hue are both leaning this way, but the purple's just affecting it a tiny bit. Same kind of thing. Now if I wanna go the other way, we did middle there and we did light. If we wanna go another way, we can say, okay, so we're looking for a dark transparency. So now we have a, a light yellow and the yellow is going in here making the purple, this is much lighter, so it's making it lighter here. It's duller in here as well as being more purple than it is yellow. So this is a fully saturated dark transparency. To go back to this one, this is a fully saturated light transparency. So if we have a couple of chromatic grays, we might be able to play around with that a little bit. But let's say we're trying to get these two together. I kind of like this one. So they're both chromatic grays. And this one, we could argue this a little bit on the bright side, but for the purposes of illustration, we have a blue and a green and a yellow. We're going to have a green tinge going in all of these. Um, but this is a middle intensity or a, a middle transparency. And then that's too warm. Well, if we want to convert it into a dark transparency, we still got the green going on, but that looks really cool. That's one of my favorite ones. Um, now one of the problems that you guys will run into is having to do with colors when you start it's really helpful to have two colors that are very, very different in value. So if we go like this, just like with the last one, we have all sorts of options because there's so much space and value between these two colors. If we try to set up a scenario where the two colors are too close together, we're gonna run into problems. So what I mean by that is let's say we have these two and we're trying to find a color that goes in between. Well, that's gonna be hard because they're already basically the same value. So I came up with this one just preparing for this. I don't know that this is right. I think that, I think the inside color is too bright, but it has a lot of the characteristics we're looking for. So it's really not that bad. Now I wanna show you one that I thought was really good. This one was, um, muted, 
dark. And while we're looking at while we're looking at those, now I need to show you what the project looks like. So you're using this as the format to make these things. I haven't looked through these, but some of these are really nice examples. So when you mount them and put them together, this is what they look like. These are the band-aids. So um, the middle one is supposed to be in the middle, and I suppose it is. This is a light transparency. These two are really close together. But it is a dark transparency, or maybe we could call it middle, but that's middle. That's a nice dark transparency, nice light one, middle, yeah, it's okay. Light transparency, maybe middle, definitely light. And remember, what we mean by light transparency is the lighter of the two is in control, it's on top, it's dominating. So that's a really nice light transparency. That is not a good one at all. This is more of a middle. That's an excellent middle transparency. No, it isn't. And why isn't it? It doesn't work because the inside color is darker. This is good, a good middle. That's a good light. That one's awful. That's a pretty decent middle. This one's an okay dark, but the inside color really is, doesn't really have any red in it. It's just lighter and duller. This one's too dark, light transparency. Middle transparency. It's supposed to be dark, but it's middle. Uh, this one fell off. Nice middle. Another good middle. So that's probably enough of that. So uh, I guess that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And um, we'll see what we can do about answering them uh, over email for the time being.